Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving yourselves as well as me. You know, paying attention to the things we need to pay attention to. Going for our dreams, going for the things that truly benefit us. You know, in a better way of life. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, uh, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, really just stop telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and headed you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you, it just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or a friend, or even a fellow empath that's going through some really dark times and need confirmation or validation towards the things in their life that they're going through, please go ahead and share. And also, please give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And, um, and thank you for stopping by and giving me that support. I'm sorry, I had something in my eye. I apologize. Um, my motivational video, my motivational video, my meditational video today I'm uh, listening to is Whole Being Generation and uh, gen Regeneration. It's uh, in 10 minutes, deep med meditative trance, body healing and meditation, brainwave music, and I'll post that link in the description box below. Make sure it's all the way up. Um, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101, things we should remember to have, uh, to, to have, uh, to remember to have a positive life. There's things we always got to constantly remember. We always got to know that, you know, um, there's things we're going to go through. It's not going to always be no good day. It's not going to always be a positive one at that, but we have to make it work for ourselves. You know, if you need to take, you know, take your breather, you need to take your breather. But sometimes, you know, we have, we go through things just to see how we're going to respond to it, how we're going to react to it. You know, we get tested every day, <laughs> you know, because it's just like you go through things all the time. And it's just like, like I told y'all before, darkness will throw things in your path just to try to you know, make you lose focus and try to get you distracted from the things that you truly want in life. You have that with people, you have it with situations or, you know, just everyday things. And it's just God, he'll place things in your life just to see how you're going to respond to it. Just test you all the time, you know, to be able to see, okay, this person says she's strong or he's strong. Let me put something in this path just to see how their strength goes, you know, are you going to react to it and, you know, say, what, you know, you can always say what you need to say, especially, you know, if somebody's disrespecting you or just weighing you down or whatever, say what you need to say, oh, excuse me, say what you need to say and move about your business, but don't stop what you need to do. And, you know, knowing that you're heading towards a positive path and not instead of here focusing on the negative what we choose to put our energy in. There's times I had to constantly tell myself, you know, there's times I even get put in a situation where it might trigger something from the old, you know, and have to draw myself back, especially if you, you know, you're lucky to have positive people around you. They can be able to divert you if you can't divert yourself, which you need to really try to be able to divert yourself so you don't trigger yourself and going back in your old habits. Because there's times, you know, I've been there and it's just like, you know, it was a blessing that people have came in your life in a positive way. Being able to say, you know, Rosalind, you know, this is, you know, it's just an illusion for you. Or, you know, they were just trying to do that just to get a rise out of you. Or, you know, they'll just do something to throw in your way just to see how you'll react to it. You know, we, we go through these things all the time. We have to know when you're heading towards something positive, things like this are going to happen. There's, you know, we have to stay focused on the things that we really truly want in life, especially if you know it's going to benefit you. You've been getting the signs, the synchronicities, probably the dreams, the daydreams, you've been, or even things you've been manifesting in your life. You might see them, you might see it on billboards, you might see 
somebody else having it or you know you can watch a video or see a social media post about things that people are doing that fall in line with things that you want to do you know we always got to notice you know also you know like i even see it off you know uh social media not everything is not what it seems okay because i've seen things and i could read straight between the lines when people constantly you know posting about materialistic things that I mean it, that lets you know it's all about materialistic things to you know that's all they talk about it's like not nothing you know <laughs> positive or non-shallow or anything like that because i've seen people i'm like wow you know, it's, it's all about money with them. And I'm just like, I wish them well, but I wish they'll get out that, you know, that, that you know, materialistic mindset, you know, because people will paint a picture up for you on social media knowing things are not as good as they seem at home, but they want to try to make it seem like it has. So we, we go through all these different things in life. And all we were manifesting things for the better. Like I've said before, y'all probably seen videos about that before. But, you know, it is all a different route when other people do it. You know, um, being able to know that better days are coming. Even there sometimes when you try, you, I mean, things are thrown in your life that you, it'll make you contradict, you feel like it's contradicting. You know, things have to fall apart to go together at times. You know, we have to be able to go through things that has to get worse before it gets better. You know, there's times where we question, like, why do we have to go through the things we got to go through? It doesn't seem fair. You know, I do this and this and that. And next thing you know, all these bad things fall in my lap. Why is that? You know, you, it's all the way how you have to look at it. And I had to be telling, you know, I have to tell, tell myself that, you know, we could be stuck in situations where it can really seem hurtful. But then it's just basically showing you things that you, you know, it's basically you have to look at it like, okay yeah i'm in this situation yes it might be dark it might be ugly but then you have to look at it is this something that you want in your life we we gotta let you see these things for what it is to let you know these are not the things you want in your life these are not positively serving you you got other things that are heading towards you that are really supposed to be for you but you have to be able to see the things that they work for the what they for what they really are you know, even though it might be hurtful or deceitful at times because it's just like well, tough times bring out true colors and true faces for people, you know, and I had to keep learning that thing, those things for myself, you know, and you can be able to see these things for what they truly are. And, you know, and I, it's just like when I be on social media at times and I lately I've been really trying not to be on social media that much like I used to because it was drawing out a lot of bad energy. But when I would be there and I see my friends going through certain things and I'm just like, you know, um, it's not, you know, they were like, oh, well, I had all these friends and I was there for them and they're not there for me. I said, okay, uh, you know, congratulate the people that were there. And the ones they weren't there, thank them too. So now you can know what to get them out your life. So it's just like God highlights, universe highlights the people that need to be out your circle, that you need to become aware of. When you look at things, you know, when they come at you sideways and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, I ain't coming at you like that. It makes you look at things a lot differently. It's like not for you to become outraged. Yeah, it's a hurtful situation. But then you got to look at stuff like, okay. This is just showing me what it really is. When people, like Maya Angelou said, when people show you how they really are, believe them. <laughs> believe them. And you just thank God for allowing you to be this stuff to be, you know, re, be able to be revealed to you. And you keep it moving. This is how you keep a positive life. You know, and I have to tell myself that all the time. You know, there's days that I get aggravated. There's days I get angry, you know, seeing a lot of the stuff that goes on in the world. I just don't understand how life works like that, you know, but I'm not alone on that situation. But being able to be surrounded around people where I can have in-depth conversations, knowing we're going through things, but we're manifesting for the better. We're doing things to be in a healthier mind state, even though we were in toxic situations, being able to be around people that are supportive sending you energy as you're giving that you're getting that back that's how you can keep a positive life keep a positive mindset even though things might not be easy they weren't life wasn't meant to be easy 
it's not. You know, if it was, it would be boring. It would be so boring. <laughs> and, I mean, there's times where, I mean, I, I, I really cherish those quiet days. But then when it's too quiet, I'm just like, oh, gosh, what is, what's going on? Is something about to, you know, pop off because it's been too quiet. But when we can see those things for what they truly are and really know that, you know, we, we go through these tests to be able to strengthen our, ourselves, being able to, you know, when you go through hard times, it makes you want to do research on certain things. So it's also giving you the wisdom. So it's, when you start looking at everything in these positive mind states, you know, we tend to live better. You know, there's days, trust me, there's days I got to tell myself this stuff too. I'm preaching to y'all, but I'm preaching to myself at the same time. We go through these things, but it it makes us wiser. You know, when things happen the way they do, you know, it, it's putting us on this path where a lot of people won't be able to go on that path. We lose some, we gain some. You know, there are some that's supposed to be in our life for a season, and some of us supposed to be there for a lifetime. But it's like we learn stuff from everybody that we learn from. You know, even though we wish we could still have them in our lives, you know is the reason why you know but then there's things that we we go through and then we we finally make it to where we're at and we can look back and say you know what I, I i i really did this i did not believe i was gonna be able to get through this but i actually did and it makes you feel so much better at things because it was on the you know it was on the real rough and raw you had to go through all these hard times of sweat and blood and tears and be able to say, you know, I went through so much, but I came out so much better. And so when you be able to look at things like this, you become you, you become grateful. You become appreciative. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I love y'all so much. You know, it's just good to be able to push out positivity. And even though when we have hard times, you know, we can be able to benefit from those hard times as well as the good ones. So, I hope you're able to resonate with the video. Much love and light and um, positivity if you can push that out towards others, you know, as well as yourself. It's, it goes a long way. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. So, my post notification shout out goes to Gabriel, Katie, and actually, uh, Lost Puppy. Lost Puppy, you need to tell me what your real name is because I get tired of tell, calling you Lost Puppy. We family now. I shouldn't be able to have to be calling you by your tag name. So, if you're watching this, you need to let me know what your real name is. And I'll see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a line. I would love to hear your positive feedback on the video or even your feedback. It doesn't have to be positive. Not all, all of my comments are positive, but I appreciate the comments anyway. And even subscribe, you know, share. It's all greatly appreciated. So stay blessed, stay prosperous, and peace be wild.